<clears throat> hey yo, what's good? This is my Hassan and Dam Gcam <laughs> versus David Lemieux prediction video. This fight is being cast aside. This fight isn't really getting paid attention. It's the sleeper fight of the night. And it, it's actually probably the the most even matchup of the night. Even more even than than Porter Broner. Because the moment that fight was announced, I knew who I would pick to win. Even though a lot of people are picking against my prediction, which is cool. But I I have yet to pick a winner for this fight. So let's see if I could just keep talking and analyzing each other um each fighter's style and pick a um pick a fighter to win in this prediction. So this is a classic boxer versus puncher fight. It's I'm not saying that Lemieux can't box at all and I'm not saying that and Dam can't punch at all. And Dam dropped Curtis Stevens, remember that. And he went for the kill, but Curtis Stevens is a tough dude and he could bang. So you don't want to be staying on the inside with Curtis Stevens. So with that fight, and Dom proved that he could go 12 rounds moving. He could move for 12 rounds, throw combinations, just stick that jab out, bam, 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 and then move out. Throw body shots, straight right to the body, right to the head, and get, get the hell out of there. <laughs> Lemieux with this Rosado fight, his last fight, he proved that if he doesn't get the guy out of there in the first five rounds, he won't, he won't get, he won't get anxious and, you know, punch himself out because he can't get this guy out of there. He's a little bit more patient at the very least. Also, Rosado and Curtis Stevens, you know, aren't the greatest level of competition, but they are solid fighters. I'm going to say... You can't say who's better because they they fought to a draw in the BKB fight. <laughs> so you you really can't say who's the better fighter of their last opponent because they they're at the same level since they got a draw. I know you're gonna say it's BKB, but still, if it was a six round, it would have been a draw. Who knows if if it would have gone twelve? I I probably would I would have thought that. Curtis Stevens would have won by knockout if it went 12 rounds in a boxing ring. But I digress. Their last um their last opponents have been better. But um Lemieux has fought Marco Antonio Rubio, who knocked him out. And then Dom has fought Peter Quillen, who dropped him six times. So when hurt, Hassan and Dam is more resilient. Because he got up six times. He got up six times from Peter Quillen to make the decision. And he won. <laughs> Crazy. He won every single round that he didn't get dropped in. If there was no knockouts, that would have been a draw. Man. And on the other hand, Lemieux got dropped against... Lemieux got dropped against Marco Antonio Rubio. And he got he got finished. Um, Rubio's a, Rubio is a huge puncher. He was a veteran. And you got this young kid that, that you know, he. I think he was like 25 and, 25 and, and oh, with 24 knockouts when he fought Rubio. So, you know, he wasn't going for the kill and you could see that. He was trying to knock him out, which, um, he fights with very little technique. Um, Lemieux does. He comes in with his uh, left hooks, right hooks, left hooks to the body, leaves himself open, and that's that's the perfect opportunity for and them to counter with the combination with his right hand. So he could he could hit him and then get out of there throughout the fight. But what if he gets touched? He does have the tendency to have his hands down while he's moving. That's what he did against Curtis Stevens. So he's open for that left hook when he's when he's going away. And when he's pulling out, he's open for that left hook so he could get dropped. But if he gets dropped, he's getting up. I I, I do not see Lemieux knocking out and down. 
but I, I more I, I um I think it's easier to visualize me seeing and Dom um, boxing Lemieux's ears off. Even though no one has really boxed Lemieux's ear, ears off that I've seen he guy, I think he outfought him. But he has never been outboxed. He has two losses. Those losses were back to back in 2011. And I you can't really take the second loss against him either because he should have taken it easy after a knockout loss. You know, especially when your corner stops a fight. You should take it easy. But he fought Alcina, who's not a chump. He was 32 and 1. I mean, 32 and 2 at the time. So maybe he should have, maybe he went in too, too fast after that um, big loss against Marc Antonio Rubio. So <laughs> skill wise, um, and Dom's boxing ability probably is even with Lemieux's power. His power is for real, guys. He got crazy power and for that reason I want I want Lemieux to win because he makes for exciting fights and I've heard talks about Lemieux Canelo because he's with Golden Boy wow guys Lemieux Canelo imagine that fight damn I think that fight would probably go five rounds either way <laughs> that fight would be amazing or uh, uh, Lemieux Curtis Stevens or Lemieux Peter Quillen. I know Quillen's without Heyman, but imagine that fight. Of course, you would want him to fight Triple G because this fight's for the IBF title, but we'll see if that happens anytime soon. But that's why I would want Lemieux to win because of, because of, because of his excitement. But And that was exciting too. I think what made his fight with Stevens less exciting was was Curtis Stevens. He wasn't getting off, which means Endam has the power to keep you off. And I don't I'm not sure that Stevens is that much worse than Lemieux. I don't know if Lemieux is that much of a better fighter than Curtis Stevens. I don't know if he's proved that yet. Yes, um like I said before, Stevens tied with with Rosado, but that wasn't BKB. Um Lemieux, Rosado went 10 rounds with Lemieux, so, and he didn't beat him as bad as, I'm not going to say he didn't beat him as bad as Triple G, but only, only very good fighters beat a Rosado, so we got to keep that in mind, too. He also beat Fernando Guerrero, he smashed on Fernando Guerrero, I was very high on that fool, but it is what it is, because <laughs> I would watch him on ESPN on Friday Night Fights, but yeah, he he just destroyed him, man, with those uppercuts, those brutal uppercuts. Which if he gets um if he gets and I'm on the ropes, he could land those left hooks to the body hard. That's my favorite word, right? <laughs> hard right hooks to the uh, left hooks to the body, right hooks to the body, um right hooks to the head, and the uh, he throws a good uppercut, very good uppercut. Not the best, but very good. He rarely throws straight punches, but I think that's okay because um, when he's when you're in, I believe, um, and Dom has his high guard, so th um, that leaves him open for those hooks that Lemieux loves to throw so much. So I picture a fight where and Dom comes up the canvas, but is hurt, but he got the heart and the whereabouts. I'm sure that. Um, an underrated skill in boxing is learning to tie up when you hurt. Lemieux doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> Some other fighters, great fighters like Pipino Cuevas, you know, one of Mexico's greatest fighters. He did not know how to tie up, which is why guys like Roberto Duran knocked him out. Great fighters, but they you got knocked out because he didn't know how to tie up. You got to learn how to tie up. And I think, and um, I haven't seen this. Maybe the Peter Quillen fight. I got to rewatch that fight. But I'm sure he's been training at least a little bit to tie up, especially against a big puncher like Lemieux. So he's going to get off the canvas, tie up, fight his way through that round, and recover because he has tremendous um, stamina as well. You got to, to, to get up from six knockdowns. That's like Tim Bradley's status right there of stamina, man. Because um, when you get dropped like that, that's that's like... 
if because you're recovering so if you're recovering from that that's like if you just went like two or three rounds that's how hard it is to come back from that that's how tired you are that's why i say and dam has amazing stamina and at times lemieux not going to be able to catch him because he's going to be so slick and he has so good footwork but i'm going to say you can't be doing the ollie shuffle and all that stuff against lemieux man because he'll catch you and he catches you he he'll finish he's a finisher so stay away from those hooks <laughs> stay away from those left hooks and those right hooks man because those will be the death of you I'm not saying that they won't catch him, but but he's just got to get away from them. Mm. The judges, it's going to be in Canada, so I believe it'll probably lean towards Lemieux. And since this will probably be a, a very close contested matchup between a boxer puncher, um, Lemieux following him, landed the bigger shots, and then Dam landed the pitter-pat punches. Maybe winning close rounds, you know, throwing combinations, um, hit, um, hitting him more, landing more, but Lemieux will be landing the harder punches. So I expect a fight, here's my prediction, a fight where Lemieux wins in a, in a close decision if he doesn't tire out. I believe that he has enough stamina to go 12 rounds following someone. I know going 10 rounds beating up someone like a Gabe Rosado is different from going 12 hard rounds against a tough opponent that you can't get out of there and it's an even fight. But I think um, Lemieux will be able to do that, especially because I don't think Endam will be able to hurt him because he will be backing up the whole time. And I don't think he'll be able to drop him like he did against Curtis Stevens. He did, he's gone through some tough fights, but he didn't go through like the Triple G that Curtis Stevens went not yet so I'm picking I'm picking Lemieux by a very close unanimous decision very close this is the closest fighter of the night man I, I've come really close to picking a draw but that's kind of lame so <laughs> I don't want to pick a draw but I won't be surprised if it is this I, I think I sold myself this is gonna be fight of the night guys so don't miss this fight thanks for watching everybody who are you picking don't forget to subscribe. Peace.